Hi, my name is Andy Cranston, and in this video I'm going to show you how to boot into single user mode and set a new super user password on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So I have a virtual machine here with hostname Yongle, and I've been trying to log in with a variety of usernames and passwords uh, with no success. So I'm going to go through a process where we can recover the password. Now the first thing I need to do is to force a halt of this machine to get it powered off. So I'm, this is in a Proxmox environment, so in Proxmox I'm going to initiate a hard stop of the machine. And that's the machine shut down. So now I'm going to close this console. And we can see that the Yongle machine has actually stopped running because we've performed a hard stop on it. I'm going to change the option on here, this option for free CPU but startup, and you'll see why I'm going to do this in a second. So I'm going to say yes, I do want to freeze the CPU at startup. I'm now going to start the virtual machine. And if I now open up the console and maximize it, it's telling me that the guest has not initialized and this is because I've frozen the CPU. And the reason I've done this is because I want to get in a chance to get into the BIOS when the machine initially boots up. So I'm going to take the option to resume the virtual machine, confirm OK, and then I just went in and pressed the escape key so I could get in to the BIOS. Now what I'm going to do now on this boot option, I'm going to take option one which will boot up Ubuntu, but as soon as I take option one I'm going to start repeatedly pressing the escape key um, because I want to get into the grub menu. So let's do that. So I'm going to press 1 and then press escape. Fantastic. So now I'm into the grub menu and the default option uh, with the asterisk next to it is for Ubuntu. So I'm going to press E to edit the command and we don't need to really know what all of this does. What we do need to do is locate the line in here that begins Linux Go to the end of that line, type a space, and then type in init equals forward slash bin forward slash bash. And what that's going to do is rather than boot up the Ubuntu operating system as normal, and uh, that will boot into a state where we can't log in because we don't know the username or password, instead it's just going to invoke the bash shell directly, and that will give us a command prompt when we can type in some more commands and hopefully get the lost password recovered. So I'm going to press the F10 key to continue the boot with that slight modification. Now, because this text is a little bit small, I'm going to type in a command to just set the slightly bigger text size. Now you probably won't need to do that in your environment, so don't really worry about that. But now we've got a nice big text and you can see the commands that I'm typing in. So the first thing we need to do is we need to remount the root file system as rewrite, because when you initially boot in, the root file system is mounted in uh, read-only mode. And because we want to change things, we've got to get that remounted in read-write mode. So the command to do that is mount space minus O space remount comma RW and then forward slash because it's the, the root file because it's the root file system that I want to get remounted. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to display the content of the etc password file. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a user near the end that's been given a user ID of 1000 and we can see here we've got a user called local ADM with a user ID of 1000 and a group ID of 1000. Now, because of the way that Ubuntu initially gets installed, you specify a username during the installation process, and that user gets UID 1000 and Group ID 1000. Um, and that's the user that we will want to reset the password on. Um, if we also just take a look to see what groups that user is a member of, by looking in the etc group file with this command, we can see that it's in several of the kind of administrative type groups like ADM, sudo, dip, but the important one is this sudo. So 
Once we can get back logged in as local admin, we've also got a user that can then elevate to sudo privileges as well. So then we'll have full control of this virtual machine back. So now we know the username, I can run the password command to reset the password for this user. So I'm going to type in a password that I know. And that's the password reset. So now we're going to bring the machine up into full user mode by running this command, exec sbin slash init. And now the operating system will now boot fully. Now once the OS is booted, we should be we should get a login prompt and we can see if we can log in as that username local ADM with the password which I've just set. So this is our login prompt again, so let's try again. And that's great, we're now successfully logged in. And now let's just check that we can use the sudo command to run other commands. So put in the same password again. And it successfully run that command. So now I've got full control of the machine back. Now one final thing that I just need to do is just remember to, and this is on Proxmox only, is just to edit that value, unset it, and then the next time the machine reboots that will then be set to no. But we got back into the machine and those are the steps to recover a lost root password on Ubuntu, sorry, a lost super user password on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Thank you for watching.